North Korea has claimed to have successfully test launched an intercontinental ballistic missile, a feat that would be the culmination of a decades long ambition. The landmark test of a Hwasong 14 missile was overseen by leader Kim Jong un early on Tuesday, a female announcer wearing traditional dress said in a special announcement on state Korean central television. North Korea was a strong nuclear power state and had a very powerful ICBM that can strike any place in the world, she said. The test launch was conducted at the sharpest angle possible and did not have any negative effect on neighboring countries, North Korea's state media said in a statement. North Korea's test appeared to be its most successful yet, with experts saying it was powerful enough to reach Alaska. South Korean President Moon Jae-in who convened a National Security Council meeting, had earlier said the missile was believed to be an intermediate range type, but the military was also looking at the possibility it was an ICBM. Shortly after the test, Donald Trump mocked North Korean leader Kim Jong-un on Twitter and suggested China do more to rein in its neighbor. North Korea has just launched another missile. Does this guy have anything better to do with his life? Mr. Trump said without mentioning Mr. Kim by name. Hard to believe that South Korea and Japan will put up with this much longer. Perhaps China will put a heavy move on North Korea and end this nonsense once and for all. Before entering the White House, Mr. Trump dismissed North Korea's claim that it was in the final stages of developing a nuclear weapon capable of reaching parts of the U.S., saying it won't happen. China called for calm and restraint after the test. Foreign Ministry spokesman Geng Shuang said UN Security Council resolutions had clear rules on North Korea's missile launches and China opposed it going against those rules. The launch was part of a string of recent test firings as the North works to build a nuclear-tipped missile capable of reaching the United States. It sent the rocket 580 miles with a flight time of 39 minutes and reached an altitude of 2,802 kilometers. Officials say the duration of the flight means it would be longer than any other similar tests previously reported. The fact it reached an altitude that greatly exceeded 2,500 kilometers prompted arms control specialist Jeffrey Lewis to respond on Twitter, That's it. It's an ICBM. An ICBM that can hit tank ridge not San Francisco, but still. The missile landed in Japan's exclusive economic zone, EZ, the Japanese government said, adding it had strongly protested what it called a clear violation of UN resolutions. In the US, the Defense Department said Pacific Command detected and tracked the launch of what it believed was a land-based, intermediate-range ballistic missile from North Korea's Pangyan airfield. David Wright, co-director of the Global Security Program at the U.S. Space Union of Concerned Scientists, said the assessments of the flight time and distance suggested the missile could reach a maximum range of roughly 6,700 kilometers on a standard trajectory. That range would not be enough to reach the lower 48 states or the large islands of Hawaii, but would allow it to reach all of Alaska, he wrote in a blog post. With a summit of leaders from the group of 20 nations to be held in Germany later this week, Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said he would ask the presidents of China and Russia to play more constructive roles in efforts to stop the North's arms program. Leaders of the world will gather at the G20 meeting. I would like to strongly call for solidarity of the international community on the North Korean issue, Mr. Abe said. It was the fourth ballistic missile launched by the North since South Korea's President Moon took office in May, vowing to use dialogue as well as pressure to bring Pyongyang's nuclear and missile programs under control. Mr. Trump has sent mixed signals in tackling North Korea. In April, he indicated he would be open to meeting with Mr. Kim and would be honored to do so if the circumstances were right. However, he has ramped up the rhetoric in recent weeks, declaring last week that the era of strategic patience with North Korea was over. Over.